I hate you. I love you too. It's okay. No, I hate you. Then... Hi, what's up? It's Ginty back here again. And today I will be finally talking about this whole Ian Moore situation. I didn't want to get onto this whole video, Ian, but I don't have a choice, all right? I feel like I don't have a choice. So let's get straight into it. So as some of you may know, there is a video out there of me having like a half an hour beef with Ian on an Instagram live. Like a whole funny video of me just beefing Ian. If you want my reaction to that, like just me roasting him and stuff, yeah? If you want me to react to that video, just react to the funny parts, let's get 2,000 likes on this video. If you guys can leave 2,000 likes on this video, I will do that for you guys, yeah? So yeah, smash the like button if you haven't already and let's get into this. Now you're probably wondering, why the hell did you go to Ian Moore's meet and greet? Because, yeah, he's a bit of a weirdo. I will get onto that a little bit later, but first, I'm going to tell you who Ian Moore is and how I met him, how I started speaking to him. So let's go. I'm just on my For You page randomly, just watching TikToks, and he comes up on my For You page, like, all the time. Just him doing shout-outs, like, so this is Ian Moore. This is how he does his TikToks. It's basically like, hi, shout-out to blah, blah, blah. My mate just came out as a 12-month warranty to Sheba Microwave. Can you shout him out? And he's been having fun with his dog. Can you give him advice? Like, it's just stupid stuff. It just makes me crease. It was funny to watch his videos and just take the piss out of him and just lie. They're right crease, not gonna lie. They're just funny, but it's stupid. But yeah, when I used to see his videos on my For You page, I used to just facepalm a lot. Like, what is this? Let me show you some of his videos. Right, let me react to the first video. Right, let's see what this is about. Hi, guys. How you doing? <laughs> What is he doing with his mouth? What is that? <laughs> no, he's actually crazy. Like, there's something definitely wrong with him. He, he's, he's mental. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? What? 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 Like, what are you on about? Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Stop. Stop what you're doing. What is he doing? Sorry about that, guys. All right, all right. Sorry about that, guys. So he carries on. Sorry about that, guys. What what was he apologizing for? What was he apologizing for? Get off my screen, man. It's just creepy. It's just creepy, man. Right, let's watch a few more of his videos, man. Like, what is that? I don't really want to be watching these, but if you don't know who he is... <sighs> Alright, let's look at another one. Alright, three, two, one. Let's go. Here's another birthday message for Mike Oxlong. This is from your friend on behalf of me. How is he taking this seriously? How... He, he's like so serious about it, like so sincere. Like, happy birthday, Mike. Oh. <sighs> Let's have a look at this next one. What? What does that mean? What? What? What are you achieving here? What what is he trying to achieve out of doing this? Is he trying to be like a monkey? Ooh la la, ooh la. What is he doing? This is his content. Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just don't understand. Can can anyone explain to me in the comments what this means? Because I don't know what ooh la, ooh la. what does that mean? Alright, let's watch this one. This is one of him drunk. I don't know why he's making a TikTok drunk. Like... Okay, guys. So, uh, I might be drunk. Look at this guy's eyes. But I've seen some of your comments on my videos. 
that says the fame is getting too much for me. That is not the truth. I will never let you win against me with all your hate. I will never let you win against me. Like, bro, look at your eyes. You're off your head and you're making TikToks. What are you doing? Ian is the king, according to my fans, and I will never ever be defeated by you. Obviously, get this into your brains and your mind that this will never ever change. Ian is the king of TikTok. He's just waffling at this point. He's just chatting absolute waffle. And his eyes are like, <sighs> like I'm not gonna play his actual shout outs of him saying, oh mate, my mate's having fun with my dog, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna play that just in case this video gets like striked or something. So like, yeah, you know, gotta keep it PG somewhat. Let's quickly look at another one. Oh, he's on a treadmill. Yes, mate, I'm happy for him. I think he's on a treadmill. Yes, Ian, mate, you're moving in the right direction. To the beat, oh, pizza hut, oh, pizza hut. Oh, oh. Kill me now. I've got false hope. Chucky Bar Chicken and a pizza hut. Pizza hut, oh, pizza hut. Chucky Bar Chicken and a pizza hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Chucky Bar Chicken and a pizza hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Chucky Bar Chicken and a pizza hut. If we love it, you know you really want it McDonald's, McDonald's Mate, you don't need McDonald's I promise you now, you do not need McDonald's or Pizza Hut, okay? You don't need it But yo, I ain't saying anything else Man, you're hurting my ears This guy's voice Like, here's him crying It looks like he's crying, so Why is he crying? This guy's not gonna make anyone cry. This isn't gonna make anyone cry. What do you expect me to do? Like, feel sorry for you? Like, you're crying with a filter on your face. Fake tears. Like, trying to look sad. You're not gonna make anyone sad. What are you doing? Oh man, this guy needs to stop. <laughs> So if I saw Scuba Diver Joe on the road, uh, would there be bloodshed? I wouldn't waste my time with him. Uh... You want... <laughs> Bitch, you know you gonna lose. <laughs> I'm not gonna react to any more videos for now because that just gave me a bloody headache. I swear to God. Uh, so yeah, I used to join his lives and I thought his videos were like, they made me laugh, but it's just so stupid, you get me? Like, you probably laughed at that, but it's just dumb. It's, it's so stupid. So yeah, I joined his live and I was like, Bro, can this guy say my saying, like, I brought, you silly boy! I brought that term to TikTok, yeah, the silly boy thing. Like, I'm the CEO of you silly boy on TikTok. And I was like, bro, imagine if this guy says you silly boy, how jokes would that be? Like, that would be funny. So I got him to say it on a live, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's jokes, man. But yeah, I only asked him to say it once, just as a laugh. And then this guy, this guy... He's been saying it ever since, like, in his TikToks, in his lives. My man's trying to steal my saying, like, I brought the silly boy to TikTok. I started saying it in probably, like, February time, before you even, do you know what I mean? He only started saying it when he knew me, when I asked him to say it. So, my man's trying to steal my phrase, like, he's saying, you silly boy, like, every day. Like, Ian, mate, you don't need to use my saying, I brought it to TikTok. Now you hate me, okay? You fully hate me. You don't need to use my saying. I hate you. I love you too. It's okay. I, I hate you. So if you're one of Ian's fans, let him know. Stop using Ginty Silly Boy. It's my saying, all right? And if you hate me, then surely you'd be against what I'm saying. Yeah, I was following him before he even knew who I was. Um, it was just jokes. Like, we were like, oh, Ian Moore and Scuba Diver Joe. They're the kings of TikTok, just for a laugh, you get me? Then he actually followed me back and DM'd me. He said hi, so I was just trying to be nice, you know. I was cool with him at the time. So I was just like, Ian, how are you doing, brother?
good thanks you then i put yes bro i'm good but how come you blocked me on instagram bro i only wanted to follow you but yeah i wanted to see what's on his instagram because he's got weird stuff on his uh tiktok so i was like what stuff has he got on his insta you get me i was just curious and then for now it's just a relevant chat like after that for a little bit it's just a relevant chat nothing that serious i guess then i went live like one day um i was in my car just chilling like just like replying to comments um just like live on tiktok and he DM'd me after my live saying, you looked so sexy in your car. I was like, what the hell? Like, that's a bit random. That is a bit random. So then I put, did I? Uh -huh, thank you, my guy. Just, you know, I was like, right. This is a bit weird, but, you know, thank you, I guess. Then he tries to move to me. He hits me with the, are you gay, Ginty? Um, I really do fancy you. Like, Jesus Christ. Right, listen, like yesterday he said I'm not his type, right? Because ever since he's fallen out with me, he's like, oh, you're not my type, you're not my type, you're not my type. So how come, how come you really do fancy me and you're calling me sexy? But I didn't want to be a twat, so I was like, I'm sorry I'm straight, man. Like, just, you know, being respectful. I also said that his TikToks are funny because they make me laugh, although they're so stupid. And then, yeah, for a few weeks, we were just calm. And then he tells me, I joined his live one night, and he's like, Ginty, I'm coming down to Kent. Like, he was coming down to my area, like, literally down the road from me. He was coming down to Kent to do a meet and greet. So I was like, bro, what the hell? Like, first of all, my man started doing meet and greets, okay, with 60k TikTok followers. I don't understand that 60k YouTube followers, but TikTok, man, like, my man has 60k TikTok followers, like, that literally, I'm sorry, it's a good, it's a good achievement, but it's not, it's a good achievement, it's not that easy to get, but, mate, it's TikTok followers, like, it doesn't mean that much, you get me, like, you're trying to do meet and greets with not even 100k, like, I wouldn't do my own personal meet and greet. I wasn't even thinking about doing a meet and greet until I reached like a million followers. Like, and this guy just told me like on a live, like, Ginty, I'm doing a meet and greet in Kent. Do you want to come along? Like, I'd like to see you. Like, you can meet the king. He calls himself the king. Like, the king of what? Oh, I'm the king of all my fans. Like, it's just, it's just cringe, man, honestly. So yeah, as I was calm with him at the time, I was like, yo, I might as well go to this. See me. Seeming as it's just down the road from me, like, I might as well check it out, see what it's about. And just get a photo with him for the lols and just troll him. Like, I was just gonna go to this, ask him stupid questions, like, just, like, just have a laugh. But do you understand, like, I wasn't gonna go to a meeting if it's two hours away from me, but seeming as it's, like, 10, 20 minutes away, like, I might as well. I might as well for a laugh and, like, make a vlog out of it. I did start making a vlog out of it, but I don't think I finished it, so, hey. <laughs> But then, yeah, we met and he started being quite weird, you know, like that whole day he was trying to move to me and it was creepy. Like, let me explain. Right, so he came down to Kent and met me in a car park where we then went to the first meet and greet location. But he was trying to say, oh, when he got out of the car, my eyes lit up. Like, he's so wet. To be fair, I was impressed with the car you had. Like, I was like, damn, that's a nice Mercedes. Big up Steve, man. That's Ian's driver. But yeah. I was like, damn, that's a nice Mercedes. Then I got out of my car, and then he's like, oh, let's let's all get a photo. Like, Steve and Ian are like, yo, let's all get a photo. Let's get a photo of all of us, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. I was like, my man's clearly forgot about social distancing, but, you know. Then here's the photo we took together. But, yeah, as Ian was having meet and greets down in Kent, I was like, I'm going to come along. So then we drive to the meet and greets. Um... Yeah, that was fine. And then later on in the day, he was just like, he was just being like really weird. Like, Steve was like, oh, would you get with Ian? Even though I told him I'm straight. Remember when I showed you guys my DMs with him, like, months ago? Like, I told him I'm clearly straight, okay? And he's like, oh, I really fancy you. Yeah, so when we met, and I don't make up stuff. I'm not going to make up anything and be like, oh, Ian said he wanted to... He wanted to rim me there and then. He didn't say that. I'm not going to lie. I want to be honest. I'm, you know, I don't BS, all right? We were at one of our meet and greet locations and as nobody turned up for him, um, he was just like, we were just like bored. Like he was on his live trying to get people to come here. I was on my live. I was like, if anyone's here, come through, etc. And then Steve randomly goes, Oi, Ginty, would you ever get with Ian? You should get with Ian. Like, 
bruh, I'm 19, I've just turned 19, this guy's 34, like, he could be my dad, you know, do you know what I'm saying, like, this guy's, like, nearly twice my age, and he's trying to, like, Steve is trying to be like, oh, you should get with Ginty, like, what'd you say? With Ian? Because I'm straight. Weird. What the f and a few times he asked me to get in the car. I was a bit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we was at our last meet and greet location. And, like, I was just chilling in my car, like, or out. Or I was talking to Ian, like, outside of his car, just, like, stood up. And he was like, oh, you should get in. Like, get in the car. I was like not happening because god knows what would have happened then and i didn't want to get touched up all right that's the last thing i wanted at another point in the day it was kind of hot the weather was hot i wanted to get an ice cream so i bought an ice cream i bought like quite a pricey one it was six pound um and then ian's just stood outside the shop i come back i'm just like licking the ice cream like eating it like normally and then he's like you paid six pound for that bloody hell i'd let you lick me for free <laughs> Like, being all weird, man, like, it's just weird banter. Like, this guy has weird banter. Man said, I'll let you lick me for free. Are you stupid? I said I'm straight. Do you think I want to lick you? No, I don't have any interest in that. I was literally like, for God's sake. In my head, I was like, is this guy feeling all right? I told him I'm straight. Stop with the bent jokes. I don't want to hear your bent jokes, all right? Yeah, then we're waiting for people to turn up. And he just goes to me, oh, Ginty, I'm going to make a TikTok saying you just proposed to me at a pier, like at the beach. I was like, no, you won't. Go and do it. I dare you. You won't. I was like, no way. He's this guy. He's having a laugh. He's messing with me. I was like, no way. And he's mentioned my name. So that's just going to get me more clout. So I was like, there's no way you're going to do that. Like, that's just ridiculous. He fully just chats waffle. Let me react to this video of him. He made a full TikTok saying I proposed to him. Let me react to it quickly. Oh, look at his TikTok page. Oh, wait. He's only getting views where he either talks about me or I'm in those TikToks. Funny, Ian, isn't it? Funny. Look at how dead his views are. Then he starts talking about me or I'm in that TikTok. And bang, they get hundreds of thousands of views. Like... But let me react to this quick. Hello, my guineas just proposed to me at the Hampton Pier. Well, I just didn't. Um, I don't know what to say, really. You're lying. <laughs> you can clearly hear me say you're lying, okay? You're lying. <laughs> you can hear me in the background saying you're lying. Like, this guy's making up stuff. He said, do you, Ian, with your cabbages, take me to be your lawful wedded cabbage husband? And I was like, I don't really know you're what lying. to say. <laughs> He's just waffling. He's chatting absolute waffle. Like, it's not funny. As if I'd ever say, do you with cabbages? Shut up. Shut up. I clearly say you're lying. Like, he's lying to you guys. Obviously, I didn't propose. And it's just, and his banter is just weird. Like, but, but you know, I guess that was an easy 150,000 views there for him. Just like that. I've always thought he was a bit creepy because he sent weird voice notes to someone who's actually like 15, 16 years old. Like, trust me, they're really weird. Like, I'll link the TikTok down below to where he's like telling like, a, telling like a minor that he's like, I thought as I'm going to meet him and he's probably going to hate me after this because like I roasted his shoes on an Instagram story. Look at that. I was like, them creps though. Because people at one of the meet and greet locations were like, damn, are they from Sports Direct? Where'd you get them creps, Ian? So I was like, it wasn't even anything that harmful. I was just like roasting him the whole day. But I was like, seeming as I'm probably not going to see him again, let me just make a few TikToks with him. And look, hundreds of thousands of views right there on his page. And I also taught him how to use TikTok properly because man didn't know how to use a big nose filter. Man didn't know how to use voice effect. Man didn't know how to, how to trim the clips. So I had to show him all of that. You know, I was giving him knowledge, Ian. I know you're watching this, Ian, mate. I hope you appreciate the knowledge um, I've taught you, but you haven't seemed to use it. So just wasting my time, really. Let's look at a little meet and greet video that um, he took with a fan. Let's look at this. Oh, that kid really does not look comfortable. Look, he's like, 
Bro, I'm next to a suspected paedophile right now. Oh God, what have I just got myself into? My guy looks scared for his life. <laughs> then after we'd done all the meet and greets, I was about to go home and then my man, my man stuck out his hand. He was like, see you later. And then bro, he stuck out his hand. I was like, for God's sake, man. I didn't want to seem like a knob. So I just shook his hand. I really did not want to shake his hand that he probably wanked over minors with. Like, I didn't want to do that. But it's just bad, isn't it? But yeah, I'm not going to lie. Throughout the whole entire meet and greet, I trolled him and just asked him to say, like, dumb stuff for a laugh. Like, I'll play it now. But yeah, the entire meet and greet, I was just, like, trolling him. Just, like, so getting him to say funny stuff. I'll play it now. Hi, Ian. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Can I get a picture? Of course you can. Alright, here we go. Up. <laughs> Is that okay? Do you yeah. like broccoli? Do I like broccoli? Yes. Yeah, Do you like broccoli? Yeah. yeah, I like the red one. Do you like cucumbers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, like carrots. carrots. <laughs> Do you like peas? Do you oh, like no, sweet I like, corn? I like onions. <laughs> onions, onions, <laughs> onions, onions, onions. <laughs> Go on, do it again. I'll do it again. Onions, onions, onions. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Someone's got an obsession with onions. <laughs> Ian, yeah, yeah, can like... I have a shout out? Can you give my name a shout? Uh, can you give Alec, he's my mate, a shout out? He just came out as a transgender cabbage with a 12 month <laughs> warranty, yeah? <laughs> and he's, and he's, just, uh, he's just had uh, a sh dog and he liked oh. it. Any tips? <laughs> uh, just don't for the dog. Yeah, man. There's other interests, isn't there? There's other. Yeah, things. of course there's other interests. Yeah. yeah, man. There you go. Come on, Alec. Get out there and get some fun. Real yeah. fun. Call him a silly boy, Alec. You silly boy. Say, Alec. Alec, you silly boy. That's it. <laughs> Uh? You're in the same category as me then, single and fucking bored. <laughs> yeah, man. Ian, mate, for the haters out there, are you a nonce? Tell the truth. Yeah, it's a lot. And do you love your fam? No. 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 Do you love the broccoli? Yeah, it's a lot of broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so going to edit that and turn it around. I want to turn it around. So it's going to be like, are you a nonce? And he's going to say yes. And I'm going to edit it. Do you love your fans? No. <laughs> That was jokes. Then I get home from the meet and greet and Steve or Ian makes a group chat um, with us three. So the driver, Steve, um, Ian, and then me. And then he's just calling me. Like, I don't know why he called me, but. But in the call, Ian continues with a strange banter, trying to move to me when I'm clearly straight, as I've told him. And this was at midnight, by the way, around midnight, probably about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, somewhere between that. Um, he was just saying stuff like, oh, Ginty, drive down to mine. And he was like, oh, just get in my bed, Ginty. Like, it's just creepy. Like, he might say it's banter to cover it up, but it's just weird, regardless whether it's banter. Like, you've moved, you've tried to move to me several times, and it's just strange. Like, stop. Like, when I told you I was straight, why are you still trying to move to me? I'm not gonna lie, it did creep me out. I was a bit like, what? And from that point, I was just like, damn, this guy is really creepy. So I just changed my opinion on him. I was like, the whole of today, he's trying to move to me. Like the meet and greet, like I was like, surely he could, he could tell that I'm not interested. Then on the phone, after the meet and greet, when I get home, he's trying to move to me still. And I'm just like, rah, right. This ain't on. And then people started asking me, why am I meeting with a nonce? I want to say nonce in brackets because that's what people call him. And then like throughout the day, like on the live, like there was bare comments saying like, why am I with a nonce? All that. <sighs> and a lot of people probably unfollowed me for it. And I saw a lot of comments saying I liked Ginty until now. Why is he meeting a nonce? And saying that people have unfollowed me and stuff like, like Ian Moore is just too controversial. Do you know what I mean? I probably shouldn't have went to the meet and greet, but I got some photos, it was for a laugh. At least I can say, yo, I've met this guy. It was just for a laugh, really. And I trolled him a lot, so it was jokes. I did get quite a bit of hate for like me and Ian Moore because he's quite disliked in the TikTok community. I'm not just saying that, like, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. If you know who Ian Moore is, like, he is quite controversial and disliked in the community. I'm not just saying that to hate, I'm not hating on him, but, but I'm pretty sure you can just tell. Like, if you think that the stuff he was saying to me was bad, Bruh, the stuff he was saying to this guy, I think his name is Kian, was much worse. I'll leave a link in the TikTok of down below where you can see what he's saying. Just because I don't want this video to be striked or whatever and I want to try to keep it PG as much as possible. So yeah, like honestly, it's disturbing. I wouldn't advise watching a TikTok, but I'll leave it in the description if 
you do for some reason want to see it. But it's just Ian sending creepy voice notes to a child. Apparently Ian asked him for ID and he was 19 apparently. But apparently it was a fake ID. So Ian clearly must have been too h to realise that it was fake. Like, it's strange. I know it sounds completely weird, but it's true. Or he just really fancied the child and didn't care that he was using a fake ID. Like, he probably saw the ID and was like, that's probably fake, but I'm probably too into him to even... To even care like it's just strange so it was probably using the fake id situation as an excuse to be creepy to a minor and i guess he can back it up saying oh i thought the id was real it's just creepy it's not right if you follow ian moore on tiktok or you're a fan of him i actually do feel sorry for you like my man is doing a meet and greet with 60k tiktok followers like like, I understand if you did a meet and greet with like a million followers, but even that still, like, do you know what I mean? And he's going out saying he's like the king of TikTok, and he's just so big-headed. Like, he thinks he's better than everyone else, and he's not. But yeah, apart from that, we just fell out big time. Like, he's been calling my little 12-year-old sister a nonce, and my whole family to be a nonce. Your mum's a nonce. How's my mum a nonce? Well, because your whole family are. Are they? Yeah. My whole family's not... What, so my little sister's a nonce? Well, if you want to call it that, yeah. You said my family are nonces, so my little sisters are nonces. And then he started shouting at me, saying, I hate you, Ginty. I hate you. I love you too. It's okay. No, I hate you. This, I, I love you too. Hate. I love you're you gonna too. Be, you're going to be removed from all of my things. <laughs> Then a few days later, after the meet and greet, I go live on TikTok and my whole comment section, my whole chat on the live is like, what happened between you and Ian? Are you still friends? What happened? What happened? Tell us. I'm just like, how, how did this get out? Ian said I shouldn't have done that and I shouldn't have said, like, I, I should have just kept quiet about it and ignored it. But like he said, I should have been mature about it and ignored it. But how comes when I told you not to use my phrase, like the silly boy, how comes your... Like, he used the excuse of, oh, my fans love it, and my fans are telling me to use it. So how comes you can't ignore them, but I have to ignore you when everyone's asking me to talk about the situation, about what happened between you and me? In the live that everyone was asking me to talk about the situation, I just responded to it and told them my side of the story, like, how he was being creepy and that. And then he got real pissed off, he got real butthurt. Like, he was in the comment section of my live, like, with Steve, his driver, that he pays £500 a day for. I don't know how he affords that. Probably from all them shout outs that he does, but it's crazy. Like, he pays £500 a day for all the meet and greets he goes to. Like, that's crazy. Imagine paying £500 a day to be driven around. Like, like he's definitely richer than like KSI, 100%. So then I invited to an Instagram call. I took this to Instagram because on TikTok you can't go live with anyone like together. I invited him to an uh, Instagram live where like we both can just like talk about it. And we just clashed like we fell out big time. Like he started cursing me and stuff. I was just joking about like saying, mate, you're creepy, all of this stuff. And I just got him so off like he was like raging so yeah that was joke seeing ian moore just completely go rage but if you want me to react to this full live well not the full live but like a lot of the funniest moments and you want me to like react to it in a youtube video if we can get 2,000 likes on this video, I will do that for you guys. And leave a like on this video. If we can get 2,000 likes on this video, I will happily do that for you guys. So after the live, he just got so annoyed that he just blocked me on Instagram, blocked me on TikTok. Like, he wasn't having none of it. He was so peed off. But I don't get why he blocked me, because then he started stalking me on a secret account. Like, he started, like, watching my TikToks, watching my lives, like, seeing if I was behaving. I don't need you to see if I'm behaving. First of all, I'm an adult. If you blocked me and you don't want anything to do with me, why are you still watching my videos? Like, on a new account. So what's the point of blocking me if you're still gonna be my biggest fan or watch my videos and my lives? Like, you're clearly just my biggest fan, Ian Moore. Imagine blocking me and then still watching my TikToks and my lives on a different account. Like, he's just low-key obsessed with me and just won't leave me alone. Like, he's getting his driver to message me voice notes like of Ian Moore talking. I can play some now. Go now. What is your problem, Ginty? Stop slatering me on your live. I heard it all. So, because he got so 
for me i was like if you hate me so much why are you using my phrase if you don't know what my phrase is then that's kind of mad but in my tiktoks i always go like you silly boy you silly boy i silly boy silly boy you silly boy silly little boy i'm you silly little boy in a silly boy. I always say that, and now he's just started using it, like, even though he hates me. But also, if you're not from TikTok, if you found me on the YouTube, like, recommended page, or you're from YouTube, let me know. I appreciate that. But yeah, if you didn't watch me on TikTok, and you've just, like, if you only know about me from YouTube, let me know in the comments, because that's kind of sick. If you only know who I am through these YouTube videos, let me know. But I appreciate you. Welcome. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe down below. Turn post notifications on. And yeah, more funny videos coming soon. I just thought I'd make this video just like talking about the whole situation because everyone was asking me for it. But yeah, subscribe if you're new, if you haven't already, because I saw like 60% of you guys aren't subscribed that watch my videos. So make sure you subscribe and turn post notifications on. If you haven't made an account, just make an account quickly. It takes like five seconds. So yeah, do that for me down below and I'd appreciate that. But on the good side, he actually did agree to not use my phrase anymore. He was like, fine, I won't use a silly boy. It's your phrase. Look, I'll play the TikTok now. Okay, to the guys that are saying that I've stole people's content, Ginty asked me to do the silly boy thing, uh, which I did, and obviously my fans loved it. Um, now he's being vind vindictive and saying that I've stolen his content. Well, he asked me to do it. So, guys, let's just stop the silly boy thing now. Um, people are crying, basically, crying like a baby. Um, I'll do my own content, all right? Um, people shouldn't say to do content and then cry like a baby. It's very, very childish, you know what I mean? So, no more silly boys, guys. That's gone now. Um, don't want Ginty crying um, like a baby. It's good enough to slag me off on, on his live last night, though, because um, I heard it. Um, I was in there under a secret account. So I was like, sweet, now we can go our separate ways. You don't need to talk about me. I don't need to talk about you. But then in the past few days, I've just been getting Instagram DMs. I just get DMs saying, Ian's talking about you on his live, blah, blah, blah. I'd like, Ian, I don't know why you're mentioning me. Like, you've told me. Like, through your driver, like, Ian told me, through Steve, which is his driver, like, you don't want me to mention you, you don't want me to talk to you, so why are you mentioning me? Like, you don't need to do that. But let me play the screen recordings of Ian talking about me on his live when he when he just said he wouldn't talk about me anymore. Well, I do hate Ginty now, yeah, because of what he's done. He's been um, slagging me off on all of his lives, because I've been on his lives as well, you don't know I'm on there, but I'm on there on the secret account. And I've heard him slagging me off, calling me names and uh, saying about obviously when about the proposing with a cabbages ring. Did you and Ginty break up? Yeah, with a lover's tiff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so you know how he just said he will stop saying my silly boy? Like, he made a TikTok about it saying, I'm not going to use it anymore, blah, blah, blah. So why is it like a day later and you've gone back to saying the silly boy? Like it's my phrase, I thought we agreed that you wouldn't use it. Why do I see this then one day later? You silly silly boy! Shouldn't really be doing it because Ginny will go mental, but do I care no? You silly silly boy! Matthew, you silly boy! Goodbye! Ginty, you silly boy! <laughs> James, you silly boy! <laughs> Steve, you silly boy! Ian, you king! <laughs> so literally, he's just gone back on what he said. I just don't understand that. Like, can you explain that for me? Like, you told me, right, if, if my followers asked me to explain the Ian Moore situation, I should ignore them. How comes when, say, if your fans ask you, to use my silly boy why are you doing it if you said you won't but how does this make sense you told me my you told me to ignore my followers when they asked me about the ian moore situation you said i should have ignored them and i shouldn't mention it anymore so how comes you're not doing the same if your fans ask you to say the silly boy why can't you ignore them so you're just being a hypocrite 
And I know in his lives or on his TikToks, he's like, oh, Ginty's going to go crazy. Ginty gonna, Ginty's going to go insane. And I'm crying about him using my silly boy. That's completely not the case. Like, you're really exaggerating here. I don't even care that much. But my point is, why are you using my phrase that I brought to TikTok, right? I brought this phrase to TikTok probably around February. Like, I've been using this phrase for months before you even knew who I was. Why are you, like, stealing my content and my phrases if you hate me so much? Like, if you hated me so much, you wouldn't be mentioning me, would you? And you wouldn't want anything to do with me, right? So why are you using my phrase like it's yours? You're a fool. You literally are. Now, I'm going to end this off here, guys. That was just my experience with Ian Moore. Now, please do not go over and send him any hate. It's uncalled for. Don't send him hate. But I hope now we can go our separate ways and just do our things without hopefully you mentioning me anymore or anything like that. Hopefully this is done and dusted here. And this will be the end of the drama. Because <sighs> that's the first time I've been in TikTok drama. Screw being in drama. I'm just going to be doing my thing now. More YouTube videos to come, guys. So subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn post notifications on to get notified when I post. But yeah, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Let's get 2,000 likes on this video. And if you want... I'll react to the live of me and him beefing. I'm not going to slag him off or anything. It will just be me reacting to the live. 2,000 likes would be appreciated. Apparently, if you leave a like on this video, you get good luck. So leave a like on this video if you want good luck and you want to have a better end to your year. Because I promise you, you'll receive good luck. I doubt anyone's actually made it to the end of this video. So if you have made it to the end of this video, comment hashtag Ginty Gang. Comment down below because I don't believe that anyone's going to watch till the end because this has been a long video. Like I don't know how long this is going to be when I've edited it. Probably like 30 minutes. Like if you've made it to the end, you're a true legend and I'll actually respond to you. So leave a comment down below saying, hashtag ginty gang that'll be much appreciated that's it from me now i'm gonna go i'll see you guys in a bit